Yo, what is going on, y'all? I'm Cavell Anderson, and we are back with another VV and Ecomi video. I have an even bigger video than this coming today. And yeah, this is just kind of leading up into that, really giving you all some opinion, giving you all some information, and maybe a little bit of hope, maybe a little bit of understanding of how experienced investors look at things and stuff like that. So this video is going to be pretty good, but there's some serious information that everyone in this community needs to know and understand. And we're going to be talking about that um, in the upcoming video here on the channel. So stay tuned for that. But um, this video is pretty important as well. So um, <clears throat> this video, I, I decided to make this video after seeing someone on my channel, an, an, an old school subscriber, well, as old school as you can be. This channel was made like three months ago. So as old school as you could be, he was here from down near the beginning. And he said, yo, I have 120 million on me, but I'm getting out as soon as possible. It's been six months and no movement. And it really made me, um, it really made me think like, man, is this, is this how people really think? Is this how people really invest? Because as an investor, like that, what that told me is that he came in with no exit strategy to begin with because he or he was coming in trying to get short term gains. It's, it's, he probably more than likely FOMO'd in after Dogecoin started blowing up. Like, honestly, that's probably when a lot of people found this project. and was like, oh, it's going to be the next big thing. It has more. It has all these different catalysts. This is going to shoot up in moon. Um, so that made me realize that there's not not only are people new not 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 only are people new to crypto a lot of people are new to investing period and they don't really understand how it works so that that's what we're going to be talking about understanding your exit strategy i told i kind of spoke on it a little bit in my last in one of my last videos where i told you all the reason that i don't panic when anything happens is because i'm here for 10 years that's my exit strategy 10 years my exit strategy is 10 years away my exit plan 10 years away so what the hell am I like worried in year one for? What, what am I worried in year two for? In year three? Like, I don't care. Like, to, to be realistic with you. That's why I, you don't see me panicking about the price or anything like that. I know when I set my, I know where I set my sights at for where I want to be and where I want to exit at. Now, if it does not look like it's moving towards my exit and, and they, they've released the things that's supposed to move the price... Then at that point, that's when I'll be concerned. That's when I'll be seeing what's going on, really looking into it more and stuff like that. But at this current point, the price should not be moving. And a lot of people don't even realize that. A lot of people are like, oh, all this Marvel news, all this news, all that news, reali not realizing that VB is not connected to OMI right now without token utility. The token utility is what really connects the two worlds. Right now, all we're seeing is a demo project that's just skyrocketing. So if we're selling out of everything right now, imagine what's going to happen when we're selling out of everything and then people are forced to buy certain drops using only Omi. I mean, that, that's really just like that. That's really common sense. At some point, certain drops will be Omi exclusive. If they make Marvel drops Omi exclusive, what's going to happen? VV people will start using Omi and then they also... They're going to make it so you can use your credit card and buy Omi just using your credit card. You don't have to have crypto wallets. You don't have to go to exchanges. You don't have to do any of that. Through Vivi, you'll be able to use your credit card and buy things using Omi. So that's why that's it. That's why it's important to really understand what moves the price of um, Omi because we really have not had huge catalysts that that should be. Basically, what happens in projects is the price moves based off of crypto people. Like like crypto people, they 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 FOMO in. But the thing is, it's a lot of it's a lot of foot and manipulation, like alleged manipulation in the um Ecomi community. So the crypto side of things is very very shaky. But the best part about this project and why I'm invested in it is because we, the crypto side can really do whatever it wants in the future. But they will have no control over where the price of Omi goes. VV and the millions of people who use VV and the exclusive Omi drops and things like that, that is what's going to be pushing the price of Omi up. A crypto person can do whatever the hell they want to. They like You can have a person with 100,000 subscribers come in, decide to leave and take all his 100,000 people with him and it will not do absolutely shit compared to the millions of people on VV boosting the price of Omi. So that's what I'm waiting for. I understand that it's inevitable. It's building up to a certain point where it's self-sustainable just simply using VV. So I understand this, but if you're newer to investing, let, let me let me point something out for you that you may not know. Check this out. This is Bitcoin in 2013. You you see this? You see this little speck right here on the screen where it started going up, then it went back down and stayed that way for let me see, from 2013 to 
2017. From 2013 to 2017, it, it went up. People FOMO'd in, and then it went down for, like, what, years? You know how many people dipped out of Bitcoin at that point? And you know how many people mad? But let's not even talk about that, because that's a long time for people to be in there holding and seeing absolutely nothing. They didn't see shit. So <clears throat> let, let's go here. Let's go here in 2017. You see it start rising, rising. It hit, it hit an all-time high right here in 2017, and then it went back down. So this was 2017. It went back down and didn't really see any movement upward until 2020, any good movement upward, upward until 2020. So that's when it just started pumping like it is. So you know how many people sold in 2017 after not seeing, like, well, after seeing this, this little shaky streak. It was going up. It was going down. Then it went up for a little bit, went back down. You know how many people sold right here and jumped ship in this little time span right here? You got people out here buying pizzas using Bitcoin and stuff like that. Like, 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 let me show you the truth about investing. This is why the majority of people who invest is going to lose money. The majority of people who invest in Omi are going to lose money because nobody's sitting through this shit. Because it, it's, it's like it's going to be uncertain for new investors and then... New investors are not going to have conviction. You're not really going to believe in it. Like, especially if you learn from mainly YouTube videos and you don't actually understand yourself, you don't wrap your head around it because my conviction is not going to be your conviction. I 100% understand that when the tokenomics kicks in, fuck all crypto bulls manipulating the price. You're not shit anymore. I understand that. This is why I'm banking on OMI. It's the only token with tokenomics that says, fuck you crypto bulls. It's the only one. It's the only one like like is this is why I'm perfectly fine with the with the fluctuations in the short term because the second they add in this utility where VV is the driving factor of the price, I don't have to worry about oh is this influencer happy with Omi? Oh, is this is this influencer going to leave like you don't have to worry about shit like that when VV is controlling the show. And this is why I like the Omi, the fact that it has a, a true project behind it. It has a project behind it. Because no one, no one can manipulate this long term. Like I mean, they can try, but you know, like it's going to be way more people who love VV and who use VV on a daily basis. But but let, let's let's look at some more. <clears throat> look at this. Look at look at um Ethereum. Ethereum goes up right here. You know how many people FOMO in right here? Then it went down from that. That's 2018. It didn't rise again until 2020. So for two years, it rose. People FOMO in, and for two years, it did nothing. Then it just it just broke again. You know how many people did that? You know how many people like FOMO'd in and then dipped and lost money on Ethereum? Like, and then you look at it today, like, damn, how stupid do you have to be to lose money on Ethereum? Then you look at what Bitcoin did, then you're like, damn, how dumb do you gotta be to lose money on Bitcoin? It's like you look at these things after the obvious happens, and then you're like, ah, somebody actually lost money on that? It's like from your perspective, like from anyone's perspective today. Bitcoin is good. Bitcoin is like an obvious investment that's valuable. But back then, that was before things like only people who truly understood the vision of Bitcoin would have knew that it was going to be valuable eventually. It's inevitable. Um, and that's what OMI is, by the way. But <clears throat> check this out. You know how many people FOMO into Decentraland right here? Like you all are seeing it. You are like some somebody lost money selling off early in all of these projects any project you can go back to somebody lost money selling off in it and <clears throat> that's just a fact as an investor you need to know what you're investing in and truly understand it because you see this right here you see this chart yeah this looks like a this looks like we're seeing movements we're seeing it go up we saw it go back down it looks like we're seeing a lot of stuff going on here don't it except until you consider the fact that this chart right here Five years from now, it's going to be this area right here, this line that has not moved. This line that has not moved at all, that's what that's going to be in five years. So while this chart looks like it's crazy right now, and this is what, like, this is the type of chart that people were looking at when they decided to sell off of Bitcoin before the, the explosion even happened. They were basing their, their investment off of a chart looking like this, as opposed to understanding that the chart looks like that for the moment, but it's going to eventually look like this. So that's a, that's a, that's the mistake that a lot of early investors make or a lot of new investors make. And it's just, it's just not really a logical investment. What people have to understand, like how Bitcoin was inevitable, the NFT boom, like, like what, what I saw somebody else comment, they said the NFT boom is right now. Ecomi's missing it. Like VV's missing it. Like it, it's over. I'm getting out of this project. 
But what people got to understand is NFTs are inevitable. You need to understand what an NFT is, what it does, the true value of an NFT. It's inevitable. Everything is going to turn to NFTs eventually because it's just the, the next logical step in evolution. Everything is going to turn to NFTs because business-wise, it simply makes more sense. The thing is, it takes the business world a while to accept certain things. Look at how long it's taken them to accept Bitcoin. Yes, NFTs is like NFTs is going to have an easier time because of Bitcoin already putting in the early work, but NFTs is going to take some time to adopt that. Like if you all saw my video where I explained how everything that has a ticket in the world is going to be an NFT, like that's what Gary Vee was talking about. Like that Gary Vee was explaining how Everything in the world that has a ticket, it does not make sense for them to just sell regular tickets. It needs to be an NFT format because they're going to profit more from NFTs. So if you didn't see that video, be sure to go check that out. It's one of my last Gary V videos. Um, but people are saying that if, if your project, like, I'll say this, if your project, if, a, if an NFT project you're invested in requires an NFT boom to blow up and go somewhere, Get out of that project. If it has to be uh, super hot in the NFT space, get out of that project immediately. Because I'm in a project, my investment is a project that can create the boom. I'm not just investing in a project that's, that I'm, I'm sitting here going to ride the boom of, of everything going around. Because that's just like every other project is going to fail. Every project that's going to fail right now is, is riding on the back of this NFT boom. That's, the, that's what's happening right now. Every project that's going to fail is riding on the back of the NFT boom. The project that I'm invested in has Marvel. It creates the boom. It has Marvel. It has DC Comics. It has um, it has Jurassic Park. It has the NFL. It has brands that creates booms. It has brands that, that the second that they start posting all these NFTs, they start posting comic books and stuff like that. This is going to shake the world. This is going to shake different industries and stuff like that simply because of the names attached to this. We we were posted on on Chavinci. We were literally posted on Chavinci. Like this this is how heavy hitting the like this this is why I'm invested in in Omi and Vivi. With the type of um the type of publicity this project is going to get especially when they 100% get it together, get us on some exchanges, get us make the token more easily accessible. It's going to open us up to more more manipulation, but at the same time, it's going to bring a lot more um, long-term hodlers on as well. So it's going to be good, but I think that there is going to be, the price is going to be kind of like overpriced at some point, and it's just going to be crypto people trying to utilize the, the new exchange news, the FOMO and stuff like that, and people are just going to be trying to flip it and, and make quick returns off of people who think that, oh, Omi's going to moon now. And I mean that that tends to be that that's the cycle of every crypto though. That's a cycle that's the cycle of every stock and everything down there. It's people who are just short term looking to profit off of people FOMOing into something. Like that that's literally how people make their living. And I mean nothing wrong with that, but you just have to understand that this is the game that you're jumping into. You're jumping into a game of manipulation. <laughs> a game of manipulation, a game of people plotting and 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 scalping, trying to trying to see when is the best opportunity to capitalize off of as a certain audience who, who who's um investing in a certain thing. So once you understand that, I feel like you'll really um you'll really be more comfortable. You'll be more comfortable with your spot in Omi. And your your or any investment. It doesn't even have to be Omi. This isn't this doesn't even have to just be Omi advice. Um the fact of the matter is this is investing. This is the investing world. Um, <clears throat> yeah, certain things that have come out of nowhere did this year and start blowing up. Well, down there, everything has come out of nowhere this year and start blowing up. And if that got you into crypto, that gave you the wrong mindset coming in. And you don't really understand how something of value works. Because the majority of these cryptos that have blown up, they've blown up giving you empty promises. Ecomi and Omi has a real working product that's selling out 100% of the time. They have a real product that sells out 100% of the time. Who's your favorite musician? Who's, who's your favorite musician artist? Because they can't sell out 100% of the time. Come on now. Your, your favorite artist can't, well, I mean, unless it's Eminem or something or Rihanna. Like, okay, like, hey, relax, relax. You know, you get what I mean. But, <laughs> yo, um, <clears throat> seriously, like, Vivi is selling out 100% of the time with a real working product. Like, I love Cardano. 
it's promises though. Like people, like people are quicker to invest in promises because of the short term gains, the short term hype around it. Yes, the, the projects are going to stay hyped up because people are believing in it. But how the hell can you justify believing in people making you promises? And you can't justify believing in the people who are showing you for a fact we will promise it and we will deliver. What they are doing. Yeah, it should be shaky a little bit. Like, especially when you come and pick some weird partners and shit, come out looking. Okay, it's shaky, but they are keeping their promises and they are attempting to, they, they, they keep trying. They keep trying their very best to make things happen. And let's keep it 100, bro. Like, yeah, Comic-Con fell through. But to even have Comic-Con on the table in the first place, the first year and a couple of months out of beta? Are you kidding me? Like, people are not giving them credit. People are not giving them credit at all. This is a brand new company out of nowhere that's literally just got themselves thrown in the middle of a staple of the of, 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 of um, the world. Comic-Con is a world staple, bro. And, and, and Ikomi came up, a, a, like, what, a month out of beta and was already about to be um, on Comic-Con, listed in front of the... The, one of the biggest events in the world, one of the um, most important collector's events in the world, or the most important collector event in the world. Come on now. <clears throat> you realize, Ikomi, like, that, like you, you realize how huge that is in the first place, the fact that they were even there, even even though it fell through? Like, a, a, lot, of, a lot of these companies, these NFT companies, they, they, they can't even get the opportunity to fail. They can't even get the opportunity for a deal like that to fall through. But they, they can't even get that opportunity to begin with. So I feel like people just have unrealistic expectations for what for what really can be accomplished right now. But I do I do want to get to this other video that I have for you all. I'm gonna get to um I'm gonna get on that one because it's very, very important. And I already can tell by the way this price is going, a lot of FUD and uh, and um, FOMO is coming. Or not FOMO, FUD. A lot of FUD is coming. And yeah, we gotta talk about this. We definitely gotta talk about this. So stay tuned for my next video. Um, hopefully this gave you some of my insights and my point of view and my thoughts. And hopefully this made you like really understand, get you an exit strategy, get you an exit strategy. The reason that I don't give a shit of, like, I'll be honest. I have not looked at my, um, I have not looked at my Omi and I don't know how long <clears throat> I haven't looked at it. And I don't know how long, like, why would I, I'm holding for 10 years. There's no benefit to me looking right now. There's no benefit to it. <clears throat> like the, well, like once you're comfortable in your position where it's like, I have my bag secured there's no utility. There's nothing here to move the price, really. You you get comfortable in the fact that it don't matter what Omi is doing. I don't care. I don't need to know right now. Like, the, like if, if the company was randomly going out of business or something, yeah, like that, that would be big. But <clears throat> no, we're fine. We're, we're just chilling right now. And as you can see, historically, look at the central land, look at Ethereum. Look at Bitcoin. This this is like this. This happens with 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 good projects consistently this is nothing new ecomi is not inventing uh, the price of a token not moving it could, this is nothing that omi is inventing this is nothing new this is every project so yeah let me know what you all think in the comment section down below that's pretty much it man be sure to drop that thumbs up subscribe if you're new and i'm gonna catch y'all on the next one peace out joe